What's up everybody, this is the Classic Tycoon here, and we're back for episode 5 of the Evergreen Gardens Let's Play series. In the last video, we built the dinghy slide um, and the mine train coaster here. Both up and running, both going well. Hopefully attracting some guests into the park. We do have a um, advertising campaign going for the mine train coaster right now. Our guest count, we're looking at 1,094 guests um, and a very good park rating. Looks like 999 probably. So, um, yeah, the park's going really well. If we can keep this up, we'll have an easy rest of the way uh, to complete our goal here. Um, our, uh, our, our loan is at $10,000, so we'll work on paying that back a little bit today, but we'll probably have to borrow some more to uh, build our next roller coaster anyways. Um, so, I'm going to build a couple of rides. We'll start with an observation tower um, over here by the wooden roller coaster that we already have built. So that's the first thing that I want to build, and then we'll, uh, well, yeah, we'll build a couple other rides here as well. Observation towers I like to usually build about 150 feet high. Um, I haven't really looked into the observation tower too much and what affects the ratings, but I know that, you know, the higher it goes, the more exciting it is. But that also affects, you know, how long of a ride it is and guests can get bored on rides pretty quickly, so... There you have it, an observation tower, pretty easy. Um, I am going to have to adjust some of the pathways here. And it's just going to be that way for the rest of the park since there's so many paths that the guests could take. Um, some of my handymen did kind of escape here, so I have to bring them back into the park and fix the pathways that I forgot to remove to keep handymen from doing just that and then we do research a launched free fall here so that will be the next ride that I want to build and I'll just put it right across the way from the observation tower so we'll throw it in right here So we've got our loan all the way down to $4,000 right here. But at this point, I do want to start building another roller coaster. So um, I talked about using the lake to build something, and I think that's where I'm going to go today. So I'm going to go with a wooden roller coaster. One of my absolute favorites to build, a very popular roller coaster. And... We're going to start it at just five feet high, which the lake is at negative 10 feet, so it works pretty well. So I plan on it being a medium sized roller coaster. And what I'm going to do is use the, the footpath that you see on the opposite end of the lake there I'm going to build a second station platform and that will be that will be where the guests get off and the station platform that we have right there obviously that's going to be where the guests get on the roller coaster and you'll, you'll see what I mean at the end here kind of like the little gazebo there in the middle of the lake so I'm going to try and leave it there and just have the, the roller coaster weave around it a bit
And then we'll put it in our first block breaks right here. So we'll definitely have multiple trains going on this roller coaster. All right, so we're gonna wrap this thing up, throw in some more block breaks at the end here, and get our final station platform built. We did end up having to borrow about $14,000 but um, I think we're going to be able to start paying back that loan pretty quick. Now that it's a huge deal in these, you know, first, first missions. There are certain parks where the goal is to pay back the loan and achieve a, a park value. But in this case, you know, the park loan doesn't really matter. It's just kind of... I've always been uh, against debt, so <laughs> um, yeah, I try to avoid it. Um, let's go with three trains on this. I don't think we really need f five trains running. And we'll watch a test, make sure everything's good before we build in the, uh, the, the pathways and everything. All right, there it is. So we will have to wait for it to get to the other station platform in order to see the test results. But that, uh, at least we know that it works. We'll check out the ratings, but I can't imagine that, you know, just from watching that, that anything's gonna be in the red. It does seem like the roller coaster was going pretty fast, so you know, that can affect the lateral G's a little bit and hike those up a little bit. Um, everything is in the black. 2.45 on the lateral G's. It's a little bit high, but, you know, wooden roller coasters, they can just be that way sometimes. So we'll see the ratings. And 6.86, excitement 8.5 intensity. A little bit high of an intensity rating, eh, but it's not, you know, the end of the world by any means. I like the look of the roller coaster, and it'll bring in guests just fine, which is what really matters. So, I like it. I think it, it works well.
We'll repaint it, rename it. Um, I'm gonna throw in some bumper boats as well, right, uh, right next to the roller coaster. And yeah, this this park's really coming along. It's starting to get filled up pretty good here. So we'll, we'll put in some bumper boats here and then we will wrap up the episode as well. Alright, let's check out the bumper boats for a second because I do want to talk about them um, and what can happen. So, looking at the guests, they're, they're kind of stuck down here. They're not really stuck. I'm sure they could find their way out eventually. But guests are stupid when it comes to these bumper boats and to like the canoes and the swans or whatever you put in. Um, so, I should have done this from the beginning, but I'm going to put in just a little railing to guide them and make sure they don't turn and go to the left when they pull out and then it forces them to go to the right and then they won't be able to go back and hide or and get stuck behind the station platform unless they go through the exit excuse me unless they go behind the exit pathway um then they'll just kind of get stuck but in this case i think this should work out fine usually once they get their way over um, behind the station platform. They just they just go right into the station platform, as you can see with these guests right here. So that is it, everyone. We've got a few good rides built. We're coming along. We're in September year three, so another episode or two, and we'll, we'll probably be wrapping up this Let's Play series. So thanks for watching everybody I appreciate all the support on the channel leave me a comment let me know what else you might like to see in this series any particular rides you'd like to see me build and yeah I will see you guys all in the next video